Welcome back to the Mingo Live. We are still admiring this book the here book that was brought to us by our yeah. friends over at uh, the Boys and Girls Club. Pepe Serna's Life is Art, a Chicano's groundbreaking life in film. What an incredible life this man has had. That's right. Um, and he is going to be here in Corpus Christi because this is his hometown and he's proud of it. And we have him live from California, from his home in California. There Pepe, he is. good morning. Good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias, good morning. So good to I'm see you. Let's talk about life is art. Good. Tell us a little no, bit about ahead. this book. Go ahead. Tell us a little bit about this book. Thank you, first of all, for bringing us a copy. It's my pleasure. You want to tell us a little bit about it? What, ins what inspired you? What this book is about? First, I, I want you to know, oh, did you freeze up? I might have, it might have frozen up on me. <laughs> I think you're a little frozen. Oh, there it is. There, yeah, you defrosted. <laughs> Ahí está. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Modern technology. Yeah, it sure is. You know, this book called Life is Art. Uh, tell us the story behind it. Well, the, the story begins uh, in 1944 at the Corpus Christi Naval Base, where I was born. My father was the interpreter for all the Latin American pilots. He was from Laredo. And um, so he gave me that gift for, for wanting the language and why it was so important. He was the most articulate Spanish speaker or English speaker that, that I ever met in my life. He would send me, when I went off on my adventures to New York and Mexico and the Marines and whatever, he would always send me back my letters corrected. So, <laughs> but that that's where it starts, right? And, but right now, I, I am self-publishing my book. I have self-published my book and I am self-distributing my documentary. And the, the, the name of my, com my company is Corpus Christi Bay Productions, LLC. I love that. Because I want, I want to shine the light back on uh, what made me and what, where I was, got all my inspiration from my friends, family members, just, just being, a, you know, that pride of being a Tejano. And, and the Domingo show, in reality, was, Domingo Peña was my first, where I could see, wow. My mother would take me to see all the Mexican movies, but here in my living room, I could see Mexicanos on TV, the only place you could see them. And it's practically the only place you can still see them, <laughs> unfortunately. But that's why I have uh, uh, written my book and bringing it to Corpus Christi, and uh, so that's, uh, I'll let you ask some more questions because I go on and on. <laughs> Pepe, just like Domingo Peña was to you, that's what you are to many of us. We want you to know that. And this is the first time in history that you have offered both your documentary and your memoir, right? Yes, yeah, and, and it's the first time in, 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 in history that uh, especially uh, uh, Chicano, Tejano actor does that. And I don't know if anybody else has done it either, of uh, any persuasion. <laughs> well, what is so amazing here, Pepe, is your filmography and how many decades it spans. Can you do some name dropping for us on some of the films it's that you've Freezing up on? again. Can you, can you give us a little bit of your, your filmography and the films oh. that you've taken part Pretty in? Hard. Are you back? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay. You want to share some of the films that you've been in that, that we, can, we can share with our audience this morning, just so they know Go ahead. the background. If I'm on, you keep talking. <laughs> can, okay, Go can ahead. you hear me now? How's that? Unfortunately. Are you, can you, I know it's freezing yeah, there up we a little bit. There we there go, there, there we, we go. go. We wanted to hear a little bit about your filmography, your, your decades of work in Hollywood. Can you share some of the films with us and give us some titles? Well, uh, just, just so that the kids know, uh, and everybody knows that it's created right where you are. Say, so how can I get to Hollywood? You are in Hollywood. My first movie I did in 1964, when I was 19, in Corpus Christi, Nuevo Laredo, and I was a bullfighter. I was the lead. 
And it was incredible that, that here it was this fantasy of this kid since he was three, and there I am making a movie in my own hometown. Hollywood came to me. And uh, it was destroyed in Hurricane Beulah in 1967. And, uh, uh, but a scarf, I mean, right away I worked with Gregory Peck, Hal Wallace, one of the biggest producers of all time. One of my first two movies in my first seven months that I did five features were with Hal Wallace, who discovered uh, Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas, Elvis Presley, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. I mean, it just went on and on that my training since I was three, knowing that I was an actor, it got, got me uh, there. And I've done 100 movies and 300 TV shows. But That's what's right. happening now is the most important. Because now that I've made my documentary, the people, uh, we won awards everywhere, and it will be shown, by the way, Saturday night on the 19th at the Boys and Girls Club. And I, I want to, just to show that the Rasa out there, when now that I'm the star of my own documentary, I have become the star of every movie or TV show I've ever done, no matter how small the part. And that's my message. Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how big or small you think your your uh, lot in life is or where you where you work, you're the most important person where you work. You're the most important person in in your in your home. You you are important. Everybody is so important, and they have to take that and live with. It. And that's what's gotten me here. What an amazing message, over 100 films, two of my favorite, of course, Scarface and American Me. I'm glad that you brought up when you were a child because I want to talk about how the Boys and Girls Club, because once a Boys and Girls Club kid, always a Boys and Girls Club kid, the impact that the Boys and Girls Club had in your life growing up, if you could share that with us, please. I, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get the, the question, how they interact. Your impact the Boys and Girls Club oh, had oh, on impact. you. Oh, mm impact, -hmm. just amazing. Uh, I was at Christ the King. My was on the board, so that's why he got the number seven in 1957. And I'm going to have to create a poem with the rest of that rhyme. But but uh, it's it's uh, the impact was the 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 main thing that I can think of, and it's really interesting, is that that when you're playing the games and pool was one of the games that we got to play, but you had to take your turn. Everybody had to take their turn, and and the next people were next. And it didn't matter if you were the most popular, if you were the biggest guy, if you were the most outspoken, you had to take your turn. Everybody has to take their turn. And that's a great lesson because we're all in it together. We have to support each other and help each other. And that was a big lesson for the Boys and Girls Club, and it's still going on now. And and. Anything that we can give back to the Boys and Girls Club, any any company that has spare computers, anybody that has a anything like that that can that can help these kids understand that hey, you know, we 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 matter, we Absolutely. matter in life, and 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 uh, you walk in those doors, and man, it, it's it's like walking into a library. We, oh, we've got about thirty seconds left, Pepe. This. Real quick, we've got about 30 seconds left. Real quick, why don't you invite everyone to come see you on August 19th from 6 to 9? Yeah, please come August the 19th to the Boys and Girls Club, 6 to 9 p.m. Also, I will be Saturday and Sunday, 19th and 20th, at Las Palmeras Mall from uh, 12 to 3 p.m., uh, signing my, my book. So come and take a picture. You have to buy a book to take your picture with me, okay? So save up your nickels and dimes and come on down. There you I go. Great that book. The actor, the artist, the legend, Pepe Serna, Domingo Love. We appreciate you being with us so much. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. You, you. you got oh, it. Oh, I love All right. that. We'll be right back with more Domingo Live right after this. Más música on the way.